if there's ever a species of shark that you need to be extra cautious around, of course, it's a great white shark. Allison sets out to locate and tag a large female white shark here to reveal its movements and discover if females are more voracious than males. The largest male white sharks grow over 13 feet in length. But what about females? While both sexes can actually get really large, females have to be a lot bigger in order to reproduce. To see a mature female great white shark is an absolute spectacle. These animals get up to over 21 feet. I mean, they're weighing in at around two tons. Some of the biggest documented white sharks are pregnant females. They've got physiological demands on their body when they're pregnant. These enormous sharks must provide nutrients to sustain as many as 17 live young in utero, each measuring up to five feet long. This could mean that they're more hungry and that they're seeking out food at the coastal zones. Through active tracking with an acoustic transmitter, Allison can gain valuable insight into the movements of these mysterious females in real time. But first, she must tag one. Muscle Bay is a really important spot for white sharks, and that's primarily because it's effectively an aggregation site for their prey. We've got a seal colony with around 4,000 Cape Fear seals. Look at that. Predation over there. It's a shark taking a seal. The most amount of seals found in a white shark's stomach was six full Cape Fear seals, not pups, adults. We think it literally went around the island, chomping seal after seal after seal. We didn't realize they were capable of eating that much all in one sitting. Could bouts of intense feeding like this relate to females bulking up before pupping? Yeah, most way port control, most way port control. Well, we've just arrived at Seal Island. We're going to get some chum slick going into the water so that we can get a white shark to the boat. Then we can get a tag in. These sharks may have the best sense of smell of any shark species. Female great white sharks, what I like to call the big girls, often a lot of the other white sharks around the boat will just scatter, and the big girls will kind of take over the show. These supreme predators rely on the art of ambush. In the moments before an attack, great white sharks can swim in bursts of over 20 feet per second. It isn't long before the first shark appears. a large female. Yeah, it comes deep, deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She could be exactly what Allison is looking for. At the back of the boat here. Coming in on the right of my bait. Allison must wait for the ideal moment to deploy the tracking device. We have a shark that's literally launched itself out of the water three times in a row to the point that we can't tag this animal. The shark.